everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk to you about the three different types of leathers that Chanel um, offers. Um, now these are the only ones that I have in my collection, which are lambskin, caviar, or, sorry, patent, and then caviar leather. Now I'm like really upfront and personal with my camera because you know, I want to show you all the details on the leather. Um, so first off, um, you know, I've, I've always thought that lambskin was the way to go until I had this wallet. Main reason because, um, you know, I use this for a straight week and a bit and I already realized that I had like so much wear on the corners, especially. And I have pretty long nails, and I am very klutzy. Um, I'm not the type of person who is very careful at all times. So, you know, I'll, like, scratch this up or, you know, bang this against something. Or sometimes, or most of the time, actually drop it on the floor and actually freak out. Especially when I use the lambskin. As you can see, there's already some indents there. Some, some like, hairline scratches that you can see throughout. Now, the reason why it looks pretty good for lambskin even though I've dropped this everywhere and everything is because I don't use this very often. I only use this on uh, for when I'm using my flap or my GST or you know in general handbags that don't have zippers or that zip where zippers aren't the main compartment so I put this um, in those handbags. Um, and I absolutely love 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 the texture the the softness of this leather it's so smooth it's very buttery soft it's something you know that you like like it's a type of leather that you've never thought would exist ever but the reason why is is because lambskin isn't very popular due to its um softness or, or its, its delicateness or it being very delicate sorry and I, you know, I really, I really w wished that the durability of lambskin would be a lot better than what it is now because this looks so much better actually than shiny patent and caviar leather, to be honest with you. And I'll give you like a comparison of the leathers um, after um, I give you, you know, I give you some information about each of these leathers. Um, and, you know, typically what Chanel does, whatever leather is on the outside is also in the inside. So, and I love, I absolutely love um, the inside as well because it's lampstand and it's so soft. But it is a real pain in the butt as per my um, recent um, most recent, uh, review on this wallet that is very, very, like, the car slots are very, very delicate. As you can see, they can curl and stuff like that. So I try my best not to use, um, everything in here. So, I mean, this wallet does provide a lot of compartments. But unfortunately, if I continue to use all the, all of the compartments, this wallet will show so much more wear. And I just, I don't, I don't like having my pieces, especially when it's this expensive, to show that much wear. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and, I mean, this leather is, is so luxurious. Um, if you are the type of person that knows that you will not be using your handbag or your leather or your lambskin piece very often. I'd say go for it, but just be careful not to, you know, overuse it, overstuff it with stuff because it will increase the time of it um, deteriorating basically. Um, but I mean, still don't get too too scared about the lambskin. Because even though if you scratch it, you can always rub your finger just lightly above it and it'll, for the most part, go away. Um, if not, um, the scratches will actually get darker. Um, see here, I don't know if you can see any scratches, but I mean, 
there are quite a few scratches like there that's a scratch there I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it's really not that noticeable. And even with the corners, yes, they are obviously re really well scuffed up pretty bad. But, I mean, I just grab my finger and I just go over it like that. And the leather, like, sticks and it's back to being smooth. I mean, the color is still kind of grayish, but, I mean, when you smooth it over, it doesn't look that bad. And also be careful how you store this. You don't want anything rusting up against the leather or else it will indent onto the leather. Um, I mean, if, like for example, I have my phone in my handbag with this rusting just beside it and the outline of my phone would appear on the lambskin. So, and when I do that, I automatically just rub it like this and within a few seconds, it will go away. So, um, I mean, lambskin is fixable, but just be very, very cautious of where you set this down. Now, um, patent leather is Chanel's strongest, but also the one leather that Chanel does not repair or do, does any type of spas on because it has, um, underneath the glazing, it has uh, ca smooth calfskin leather, and then it has a really thick layer, really shiny, thick, um, strong layer of, like, a plastic glazing over it. And, you know, once you get color transfer on it from a magazine, from a pen, from anything, um, Chanel will not be able to remove it because, you know, if they had to remove that mark, that means they would have to remove the glazing and you know actually get to the leather and then reglaze it again and the when they reglaze it it's just going to look patchy it's not going to look the same um because you know um over time patent does age um over time i mean it doesn't look like it does but the shininess of the patent leather and actually the the full like smooth texture does a little bit now when i first got this this was super shiny it was very very glossy and it was very very sticky like every time i would run my nail polish um or my nails that have nail polish on against here it would not um, glide very smoothly over the surface it would always stick and have that kind of like sticky type um feeling to it and if i had like a credit card like a plastic credit card on top of it um it would just get stuck um at times and you know it would just i would be really really scared if um any color transfer from the card would imprint on here but luckily nothing has happened um i mean obviously if you are really really rough with it the glazing will start to like peel but i have not witnessed that at all with this piece it's still um, in very, very good um, condition. And it's, it's a real, real... Um, I just love the texture of this as well because it's so smooth. And But sometimes I do feel like this is kind of like a baby's um, plastic bubble book kind of like... Those bubble books that babies uh, read when they're in the bath and they they have those like spongy plastic books. That's kind of how I feel with uh, patent leather in general. But I mean, I use this card case to death and I have not seen any significant like crazy amounts of wear on this piece. So I am just really, really happy about that. And also a lot of people worry about fingerprints, finger marks. Um, to be honest with you, I don't see that very much now that I've had this for coming up to two years, um, because the dull, because the stickiness does dull down quite significantly. I mean, now it's, it's just gone to a part where it's just glossy and it's not very sticky. Um, and, but the shine is still there as you can see. Like, I've, I've put my finger, fingers all over this and you can't see a lot of marks. I mean, if you look up really close to it, you will be able to see it. But, I mean, you don't see really any at all unless you're really, like, eyeing this super hard. But you really don't see it at all. 
um, and I and I do have a dark blue um, patent leather wallet from Chanel, and same thing. It it keeps its glossiness, but um, the stickiness does dull down quite a lot, and I don't see my fingerprints on it as much. And also, you do get used to your fingerprints. I recommend if you don't want to go too light or, or if you don't want to go too dark. Go with red or go with like a green or purple, like you know, those kind of mid-tone type colors. Um, where you know it is kind of still possible to get color transfer on it, but it's um less chances than like say a very light pink or white or beige, for example. So high recommend that um this. Oh, and also this is great against um uh, rain or water because I wouldn't say like in a full-on downpour but if for example you spill water on this just wipe it off and it'll be a hundred percent fine um the water will not go through the stitching because the stitching is very very tight especially with chanel's um stitching it's very very well made so that's um that on that now my last leather is caviar now i only have caviar for two of my handbags, my Chanel GST and my Chanel Classic uh, Double Flap in the jumbo size. So as you can see, it is very, very well textured. You can see that compared to the lambskin here. I mean, lambskin, you do see some very, very, very small um, pebbling, but it's not as rigid and it's not as deep as the caviar here. Um, and this caviar is, it is so puffy, um, but you also ha do have to be careful or, you know, realize or be very, very picky what type of caviar you want because it depends on, I guess, the animal, the cow, um, how their skin, like, looks because I've encountered one caviar flat bag where the, the quilting was completely flat like flat as in this flat like it wasn't very poofy as this here like you can really really like press it in and really feel the poofiness of the quilts and that's like i love that about this um the caviar is very strong um i've always had the fear that it would start to crease just right about here just like as all flaps do but i've had this for um it's coming up to a year uh, almost and i am really really surprised how well kept this handbag is but now the reason being is because this is a classic flap so i i do believe chanel does use a higher grade um um caviar leather whereas like whoops whereas the shell gst it's not as strong and profound. I mean, it's still strong and profound, but it's not as um, stiff as my Chanel Classic flap. So, bring this up. And, but in general, caviar leather, when you first get it, it's going to look kind of dull. But as you start wearing it more and more and more and more, um, and actually um, having this more in the sunlight, you will start to see... It being a lot more shinier this is lambskin and see how much light is bouncing off of the quilt and it's giving a lot of this like 3d effect type look on the quilts here um, so that just shows you how like poofy this is and it's been like I think like about eight months or something and the straps make so much noise Still, like I really it, it just won't go down um, I mean that's good that means that this calf this caviar leather is very very thick and it'll take so much time and effort for you know the durability of this handbag to go down um, however this I feel caviar is much more heavier than lambskin um, because lambskin I feel I think lambskin is actually a little bit more thinner um then caviar because caviar has these dark deep imprints of the pebble right so it needs to be a little bit more stiffer and 
um, even when I t when I fold the bag or the flap compared to a lambskin, the caviar leather is far more um, sturdier than um, the lambskin. Obviously, I can bend this, but it's going to take a lot more effort than if I were to bend this here. So, I mean, as you can see, I bent it pretty easily. Whereas this here, I could not really bend it very well or very easily. Um, unless I really bend it um, hard. But I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to ruin my bag for this video. Um, but, yeah, I mean... Um, I say this takes rain much better than lambskin, but you do have to be careful with the rain, e even though this is a much more heavier um, and, and sturdier leather, because this is still skin. Um, there's not much glazing, t there's not as much glazing as like a patent leather would be, because this is like full on like a... I can feel like a full-on thick layer of glazing whereas this here only has like it doesn't have it that much um, I mean in person you can see some areas that have like where you can see that there is like some kind of very small thin uh, glazing but this leather is just it's a really thick leather. It's going to take a long time for this to show a lot of wear. Um, so, I mean, now, lambskin versus um, patent leather. Obviously, this wins for durability, but this wins for the, the, uh, the, how matte it is. Because, it, yeah, it is a very matte finish, and it's very smooth. You can easily, like, wipe your hands through it. It's that smooth, and it's, it's, and it's so soft. Whereas the um, patent, it's very, it's still kind of sticky. And if you have very sticky hands, your hands will kind of stick to it. Whereas not so much with the lambskin or even with the caviar. Um, now caviar versus uh, patent, I say patent is still the winner for durability, but caviar is still. I think caviar is the great is a great um, leather uh, to uh, between both of these le uh, leathers, the lambskin and the patent. Because you have the durability, but you have the, the beautiful leather um, look and texture, where at, but you also have the, the durability that the patent leather comes with. So, um, I mean, because this is like, I guess the middle, um, middle leather, I would definitely go with caviar. For a lot more of my pieces that I want, especially um, caviar is, is is pretty good in um, for um, for SLGs, but patent leather is I think not good in does not look good in as a handbag because um, once like again once um, anything happens to the patent leather, you cannot repair it. Even if there's creasing, uh, you cannot repair it. You just have to live with it. And um, I've seen pictures where this um, patent leather is notorious for having creases just on this on the edges of the leather here. So it creates this kind of like crackle look effect and that doesn't really look good to me. So I would definitely prefer the caviar here where, um, I mean, if, if you are ever or if I'm ever going to get creasing... It's just going to add more character to the handbag and, you know, Chanel can definitely, um, you know, repair that as, as much as they can. Or, you know, just, I can um, stuff it to the way, uh, until the, the creasing goes away. And I think that would, like, the this handbag would look fine. But lambskin, if I want to repair it, definitely will have to go to back to Chanel because I am not risking you know, this leather to die on me because 
long story short, I had, I, for the first time ever, I bought a vintage Chanel with lambskin, and I absolutely hated it because the cracking was so bad against, um, on the quilts because it was starting to, like, um, like, I could li literally take the top layer of the lambskin and peel it off. Like, that's how bad it was. And I really don't want that to happen to any of my Chanel pieces. I would be heartbroken if I actually bought this handbag in lambskin. And then, a year later, I just see it cracking and with, cre like, strong crease marks. I would just be devastated. So, that's why I got it in caviar. I mean... Um, all classic flats, except for I think the small, come in patent. Um, but again, I really do prefer the the um, the uh, sorry ca uh, caviar. Um, and so that's really about it um, on Chanel's lathers. Um, let me know uh, what you think. Um, I just did these three these three leather types from Chanel because these are the most common leather types that Chanel offers. I mean, there is tweed, there's calfskin, there's deerskin, there's goatskin, there's stingray, there's alligator, there's snake. But I I don't have that much information about those because a I don't have them. I don't have handbags that have that are made from those materials well except for my boy that's made out of calf skin but i mean I st i'm still trying to get not um like i'm still trying to understand the material itself um and like snake and alligator skin that just creeps me out i mean i felt um a snake skin handle um on a bag from uh louis vuitton and that just really creeps me out because you know, you're touching scales and snakes and alligators are really, really creepy. They're just not for me. Beautiful to look at, but just not amazing to constantly hold, especially as a handle. And because snakes are long and no, just, just not for me because every time I hold it, I'm going to feel like a snake is slithering in my hand and I just don't want that. Um, so that is just my thoughts, um, about this. Let me know if this was helpful or not. Um, if you have any more questions about any of these other types, please let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to, um, you know, reply back. Thanks everyone. And also follow me on Instagram. Bye-bye.